So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we're going to be looking at Ada 1, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I noticed that a lot of people actually watch my last call videos. I don't know. Well, I understand why, but if you like you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I do other stuff than just this. I do a lot of fashion, a lot of fashion for Destiny 2. So go onto my channel, check some other stuff out because I do videos for the hunters titans and warlocks and a lot of stuff like that so again hit the bell notification appreciate y'all let's just get into it so to start off we're going to be looking at 801 with Berguzi and knight also be aware that i do a weekly video so starting tuesday i do we look at 801 eververse and the challenges if there are any and we basically do what we do in this video where we look at the stuff so just to let you guys know because this is something i've already done in the beginning of the week so Berguzi Knight uh, looks really good. I like, I love this shader. It's one of my favorite shaders. This armor is also a really good showcase to see all of the colors because you guys will see plate armor, you guys will see cloth armor and some off coloring to that off color as well. So it's really, really cool. Um, the blue is gonna be the off color for the blue, for the uh, for the armor. There's another one that's not here, but it's it's worse than that, or it's worse than this blue color, but it's really cool. Definitely would recommend the shader. It's really good. We have Flowers of Io. I like the shader. It is from IO, which is not even in the game anymore. So I would definitely pick it up just for that reason alone. But it also is the worn version, which uh, if you guys don't know, the worn version has never been sold outside of Ada. So that's also really good. And then we have New Monarchy Diamonds, which is one of my favorite shaders. It is so good um, for plate armor specifically. Cloth is a hit or miss a lot for me. So like this actually looks decent. I think the gray vest with the gray arms look pr looks pretty cool. But yeah, this actually doesn't look terrible. Like I actually would switch it to this one if I cared for gray. So as for the armor sets, they're all right here. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really don't like a lot of it just because a lot of it does not change color. And a lot of it, there's just better versions of this armor. But for the hunters, I think the helmet is OK. I think the chest piece is probably the best piece. The arms are trash. Um, the arm, the boots are definitely trash. And unfortunately the cloak doesn't has a lot of yellow in this. If you see yellow, like bright yellow, it's not going to change color. Unfortunately, same thing with the cloak. A lot of the white as well. Doesn't not change color Titans. Um, any copper color that you see on the boots and the arms do not change color. I think the helmet is probably the coolest piece. And then for the warlocks, I think all of it's pretty terrible considering there's a better chess piece in the game right now, which I'll just show you guys right now. So <clears throat> it is going to be, let me see, it's in world, the Philomath suit this is going to be the better set just because it is way cooler. Yeah, it's to me, it's just the better version. So definitely picked better version. And if you guys saw the weekly video, you would say that actually the new monarchy one is the one I said is the better version. But the Philomath is going to be the one that's easiest to acquire, but you can also acquire the the sovereign set. That's the boots, the sovereign set right here. You can definitely pick this one up. It's going to be the same thing. Just be aware that the symbol is right there on both sides. But other than that, I love this set a lot. So that's pretty much it for A to 1. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Let's go on to Banshee. As for Banshee, we we're looking at Whispering Slab with Firmly Planted and Sympathetic Arsenal. I feel like I saw this last week. Uh, Arvindale FR6 with Subsistence and Demo. Volpecula with Killing Wind and Multi Kill Clip. Legal Action 2 with Feeding Frenzy and Friend. Wait, Feeding Frenzy and Frenzy. Okay, I didn't. I said Frenzy twice and I was like, did I just. Did my brain just skip a beat? Uh, Palmer, Palmera with Palmera B with auto loading holster and chill clip. That's not a bad roll, actually. Unfortunately, it's on a weapon that is a red border, so I know people are probably going to be skipping this, which is completely fair. I would probably pick up Velpacula. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably going to be a really fun PvP slash PVE build or weapon, I should say. I'm gonna pick it up just because why not? As for Zur, he's on Watcher's Grave on Nessus, currently selling. These not season. There is no well. It's the vanilla Destiny Two, um, Dead Orbit armor. So I'm kind of a big fan of it. Kind of. I'm. A, I used to rep Dead Orbit back in the day. My only gripe is that like back in the day when Destiny Two vanilla came out, a lot of the armor was just reskins of armor that we already had in game. So for specifically for this armor, it was armor from um, the EDZ just a little bit different because there are some differences here so for 
The hunters, I think the helmet's pretty cool. I think the arms are okay. I think the chest piece is pretty cool. I think the boots are pretty cool. I don't remember if the actual cloth at the ankle changes colors. So let me see real quick. It doesn't, so trash. And then the cloak I actually thought was really cool, like genuinely pretty cool, just because of the big ass uh, symbol in the back and just kind of fit Dead Orbit style. For the Titans, I think the helmet is really, really good. If you if you like the Dead Orbit stuff for the Titans, just be aware that the shoulder pads are actually smaller than the... No, are they actually? I don't remember off the top of my head. They might be or they might not be i don't remember off the top of my head i think the chest piece is pretty cool i think the boots are pretty cool and then the mark is or yeah the mark is actually pretty cool yeah warlocks i think all of it's pretty cool except the arms i think the arms are like whatever's and the boots are really good good for just a regular warlock boot um so yeah let's talk about the thing so if you just want to pick this armor up without any of the insignias just go to edz and pick it up from uh from what's his face you'll pick it up from devon k just pick it up from him and all of the armor will not only change color but it'll be better off for it so i like this armor but it's more of a like a relic of the of the past really because uh factions aren't even in the game anymore so let me know what you guys think about the armor as for the actual armor stats are going to be right here let me give you guys a quick second to see what you guys are going to be picking up because i don't want to go through each of the armor piece because it's really annoying as for the weapons, we have True Prophecy with Field Prep and Time Payload. <sighs> I'm telling you, dude, if you if you get a True Prophecy with any of the payload ones, like what is it, the Time Payload and the other one where it's like a, just the explosions right there. But if you get it with uh, the one that gives you double ammo when you pick up a special, that one's just going to be wild for you. Death Adder with Feeding Frenzy and Range Finder. Mm. We have Spare Rations, which you can get now, but Offhand Strike and Focus Fury, which is terrible. Judgment of Kelgaroth with Genesis and Close with uh, Ikelos SRV-103 with Moving Target and Box Breathing, Shattered Cypher with Field Prep and Surrounded, and then Canis Major with Killing Wind and Kill Clip. So if you want a red border, uh, these two right here are red borders, I think. Ikelos should be a red border if I remember correctly, but I know this one is. Um, yeah, some of these weapons are not that great. But as for the exotic, we have Hipfire Grip, which is... I don't even know why I'm going into this field fucking yeah there that is and then for the exotics we have fighting line which I think is just a menace definitely uh, foe tracer which has gotten a glow up and I know people have been using it severance enclosure which I still have to make an exotic video of I know someone asked for this it's gonna be a short video because it doesn't have any ornaments but I still need to make it nonetheless and then Luna faction boots with yeah, and I don't like any of these. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think 10 mobility on Titan and Warlock, I feel like it's just such a waste to me. So I will always drop one if I see it. That being said, this isn't the worst uh, for Luna Factions. You can bump up that recovery to a 21. Once you master work this, you'll get, a, you'll get a 15, 23, and then 20. That's pretty cool. Let's see what exotic I end up getting. It's probably going to be trash because that's all I ever get. Making ears. Okay, I fuck with it. I, you know, let me see. Give me one. So I ended up getting damn recovery at twenty, mobility fourteen, discipline ten, intellect ten, strength twelve. This isn't terrible. The only thing that sucks is resilience is at is at a two. But I would probably bump up that recovery to a plus thirty, so that way I can put have another armor piece that has a plus thirty for resilience, and it'll equal out. So. Let me know what you guys think about Zer. I definitely think there's some pieces that you could pick up, but there's nothing that really has me like ecstatic. But if you're a new player, I would probably pick some of these, like if not all of these up, just to give you some more variation within your builds. So let me see what Eververse is selling, even though I already know what this bitch is selling. So we have Whispered Sheen. I have made a video on this shader. It's definitely a dope shader. If I can remember, I'll have the video up right here in the time, the time card as well. Definitely a super dope shader if you want to go for like a a like a wooden look. This is going to be your best pet bet because uh, not only is plate armor going to have that wooden texture, but also the off coloring will have wooden texture as well. It's just a lighter hue. We have Metropolitan Acoustics, which is super, super reminiscent of like a Buzz Lightyear look. So if you want to go for a Buzz Lightyear look, this is the shader for you. We have Reef Oracle. <coughs> And then eggshell 
and then high seas dance which is the pirate one as for the stuff at the bottom we have omni omni omnipotentia which i actually doesn't i don't think this looks terrible like i definitely think this looks cool but i'm not really trying to spend 1250 on bright dust just for this we have war torn peregrine which looks decent like it generally looks pretty cool we have celestial kestrel this one looks cool uh wander's shell unacceptable which is from my literature time stress ball i think this one's funny yeah and then for the transmats we have uh inflorescence reef shimmer i think this would be a good awoken theme uh reflection 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 effects I think this would one would be a good uh Osiris cosplay. And then for the shaders, Trinity, which I man, like I like this green, just not on cloth. If it was on plate, I think this would go hard. Uh Lucid, which is one of my favorite shaders for like specifically hive themed pieces, just because it looks really menacing. Chid and Slate, unfortunately, I didn't make a video on this. I really should have, but again, I've just been working on a lot of content. Uh, you literally go to my channel. You guys will see that I've been posting like two days a week for like, I don't even know how long now. And we'll see. I mean, I work tomorrow, but it's such a short day. I think, I think it's super. Yeah, I think it's a short day. If not, I don't know. I might make it tomorrow. Um, we'll see, but definitely pick it up. It's a really good shader. It turns off glows also. Well, turn, you should turn off a majority of the glows, but if not, it turns it into a solid. Uh, Vertigris, which is a pretty cool shader. I just never see myself using it. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. There's a few things I wanted to note. So let me just start talking about it real quick. First and foremost, I have gotten all of the pieces for Crota. So the Crota video is going to be up next. Um, thankfully, my Warlock was the last one that needed it. And <laughs> she needed the chest piece and I got it finally. That's not a Warlock. Uh, this bitch is right here. So I got it finally, all of it. We're going to be doing the review video um, right after the the um, seasonal ornament videos are done. So right now, <sighs> so right now we're finishing up on the class specific videos right now. The hunter one is up next or should have, should have been up by now or it is up right now. I don't know why I say should have. It's up right now. The Titan will, will be tomorrow which is Saturday and then Sunday I'm thinking about doing the Warlock one so that way the Crota ones can get started but I most most likely have the Warlock one on Monday this video should be going up on Sunday so we'll yeah we'll see about how how I do this because this video will definitely go on up on Sunday so that way it gives you guys enough time to get some of the stuff you guys want but the Warlock video should be going up and then we'll have the Hunter Titan and Warlock videos and then from there I'm I'm done with all of the armor videos and then from there we'll probably get started on all the on the exotic videos the, the not seasonal well yeah the seasonal ornament exotics that we get each each season so the two pieces each I'm gonna be working on those videos probably today or tomorrow so that way you guys can have that up and then uh, after that again a lot of conversational videos so that way you guys can just put um Minimize me and just hear me talk about just some things that I think we need to talk about in the Destiny 2 community because There's some things that I'm kind of like annoyed about so let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys be safe. I will see you guys later